Hey, what's up? Dilly Vlog coming again with uh, week 16. Last week was week 15, so this is week 16, January 15th, 2018. The new year is already fast moving, and I already have my mind on the end of the year. Um, let's do the numbers real quick. I still weigh 262.3 to 2.6 pounds. There isn't really much of a difference this past week, and, um, you know, this past week I was just trying to experiment with different foods because I got an air fryer now and so I'm like okay let's try this but I was still wearing out my portions and everything but I, I feel like I was trying a lot of stuff and um, I felt like uh, even though I was tracking every day I, st I felt kind of like off track because um, of all that experimentation with the food whereas before I didn't really know any better of anything options and I just kept eating what I ate and I think it provided much more consistent results so what I'm going to do this week is to uh, follow my guidelines more. Um, I did do a lot of guessing, and I think that could have could have hurt things too a little bit as well. Um, and I think I guess because I what I was eating, um, I knew or I've tracked it before in my fitness pal, and and thought to myself, okay, well I know this is the all oh, this is that and the other. So, you know, this week I want to just really hunker down on my numbers as far as nutrition. Um, I didn't work out last week. I was doing my now loss workouts hard up to the beginning of the year, and I lost track of that. So I'm getting back into that, and I'm going to do those now loss workouts on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That is going to be a thing. Nice 30-minute workout, high-intensity interval training. And uh, I want to do the weight training, too. And I'm also working on this album, trying to get it done, because I feel like I'm on viral time as far as being in this place. So... I'm trying to make the best of it without having a negative outlook on things and, and not having a kind of a, a give up mentality because, um, you know, life is just it's hard. You want you want some consistency. You want some um, foundation. You want to know that uh, things are going to be OK. But I'm, I'm constantly on the edge of not being comfortable uh, as far as with the job and with other stuff. But, you know, um, this is the only thing probably that I know that I can control outside of the business that I'm running to uh, pursue. So I'm going to continue to do that. So this week I'm going to really just be strict on my food, um, how like how I was in the beginning, and uh, work out. And, you know, I think that this, this is, um, you know, it's just disappointing because you wish that more people lived this way. You know, you wish more people would care more about their weight. And... You know, and you wish more people would kind of, I guess, get what you're doing. They they like what you're doing, but they don't like it so much that they would they would try to start this journey or this kind of a journey for themselves, you know. And so um, I have to go back to one of the things I kind of decided and kind of had to remember. And that was to, you know, this is an act of self-love. Uh, I've been in... <laughs> A lot of life situations that made me not love myself, that made me not appreciate myself, that um, that uh, equated to me having less value for myself, you know, and it never it never felt great or anything like that. And so this weight loss journey is a continual act of self love. Um, it could be considered an act of worship. Um, for, for divine influences. It could be considered um, a self-respect. You know, I've always wanted to lose weight since I was in high school. I've always uh, had issues with my weight for a long time and it, it definitely sunk into myself. I'm not, I wasn't the type to where is, I'm just gonna be fat and happy. That's never been the statement to describe me. That's never been anything like that. And so here I am continuing to to reaffirm that this is an act of self-love this is one of the ways that i learned how to appreciate myself this is one of the ways i am happy because i'm doing something for me that's positive and it's cool that it, it that it influences others and you know sometimes you take a nice picture and the dms light up a little bit more than what they used to but um you know this is this is for me first and you know i just want to just reaffirm today that i'm doing this for me that I, I love myself, that I appreciate myself, that I respect myself, and that I can do all things and I can 
I can believe and I can affirm and I can achieve and I can fight forward and I can I can I can recreate myself, you know, divinely. I can recreate myself. I can reinvent myself to who I feel like I truly am and to who I really am and to the standard that I want to be at. Um, so this is just a reaffirmation of that, you know, and I'm going to continue to pursue this journey. I may not have gained or lost any this week, but I kind of know. And that's the thing. When you do vlogs like this, you keep track. When you keep track of what you've been doing, and that's what I love about these vlogs. When you keep track of what you've been doing, um, it helps you know your your vector of where you're going, where you're not going, and all the way. Th and, and and I think that if you don't have a previous point of reference to compare to the point of reference you're at now, you you can't triangulate which way you're going when the path isn't clear. The path in front of me is not clear, but the checkpoints behind me give me perspective of, of the direction that I'm going now. So, yeah, this is my vlog, uh, Weight Loss Journey Week 16, and uh, I'm just reaffirming the self-love, um, you, know, you know, doing something for me and reaffirming and believing in myself and knowing that I can do this and just breaking the chains of obesity, breaking the chains of African-American obesity. Um, you know, I, I, I definitely want to continue doing that. So that's where I'm at and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.